All right, I ex really want to go through this front nine here. I mean, just a 29 on your first nine holes to have a start like that. Just what was it like for you? Uh, yeah, the front nine was a lot of fun. I was really enjoying myself out there. Uh, I felt like uh, I was doing everything properly. You know, I was hitting a lot of fairways, a lot of greens, giving myself good looks, and then I made a couple of really long putts, uh, which was really a bonus. But yeah, the front nine was really great, and you know. Unfortunate to drop a few shots in the back nine, but I guess that makes it a major championship. You know, this course can jump up at any time, so you just kind of have to, you know, stay patient. And it was nice to get a birdie on 15 uh, to get one shot back. That was nice. Just thinking of the start that you had, you've said, you know, the game is close, that you've been working through that up and down stretch. To have a start like that, just how satisfying does it feel when all the pieces are clicking? Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, it felt everything is clicking. This is great. You know, things are starting to, to pay off and um, not only close, but I'm actually, you know, make, uh, putting it into action. And so that was uh, a lot of confidence right there. And, you know, hopefully I just go out tomorrow and do something similar. How much was 15 just a reset to just start over and just walk away from the last couple of holes? Uh, yeah, 15 was really nice and especially, you know, not even really have to putt. It was just a couple inches uh, to tap in. Uh, it was great to get the birdie one shot back and you know I was trying to get another birdie to you know make it feel a little bit better today um, climb the leaderboard a little bit more but I'll just have to birdie one or two tomorrow. Uh, you you did kind of something similar last year in the final one you did kind of reset after a certain point what is it about this golf course that you have that ability where you have a couple rough holes and you can kind of grind it out a little bit and kind of get yourself back on track? Uh, you know this golf course is really unique because there's lots of birdie opportunities if you're hitting it really well um, if you're not hitting it well, it's a grind <laughs> and um, you're making bogeys. So it's kind of uh, when things are going well, you can really capitalize and you can really move up. Um, when things are not going well, um, you really just got to be gritty um, and kind of be tough and, and try to get shots back later on in the round. I mean, how have you learned to be able to do that? I feel like that's something maybe a younger Brooke may not have done as well, but now you've really kind of got that poise where you can kind of go, okay, double bogey, whatever, make a birdie, we'll get things back on track. Well, thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what every golfer's kind of working towards, trying to figure that out. Um, and some days it's much easier than others. I think, you know, um, today doubles are going to happen. It's a major, it's Saturday, people are trying to push and sometimes um, that makes mistakes. Um, and you know, this golf course is just hard sometimes. So, you know, doubles, bogeys, they're going to happen, but it's going to try to shake it off best you can and try to make some birdies. I know you're a player that likes to chase heading into tomorrow, heading into tomorrow with past history here. What's it going to be like chasing for you? Are you just going to attack, go for it, nothing to lose? Um, yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow because I feel like my ball striking is in a really good spot. So I feel like I can give myself a lot of good birdie looks, hopefully, and um, hopefully capitalize on a few of them. And, you know, if I could get the start I had today, that would be amazing. Uh, so just trying to duplicate that and then be a little stronger on the back nine. Yeah, you made, you made 17 birdies since the beginning of the week. What will be your strategy tomorrow? Is that lightning? Is that, um, no, it's a plane. No, no, it's a plane. No, no. It was like a big flash. Maybe it was just a camera. That's okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh my God. That. <laughs> We're like, oh, this is a great interview. I like your face now. <laughs> so 17 birdies uh, since the beginning of the week. What will be your strategy tomorrow? Uh, you know, yeah, making a bunch of birdies. That's great. And I think um, we sort of mentioned just kind of being aggressive where we can and being smart sometimes. Uh, some pins out here will be, I'm interested to see where the pins are tomorrow and how they're going to move the tees around a little bit um, because sometimes the best you can do is 30 feet on these screens and other times you can, you know, knock it in and try to make birdie. So, um, you know, just try to stick to the game plan, go through the strategy with Britt um, later tonight and just see if we can get uh, some good things to happen tomorrow. Thank you, Britt. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Pat. Good to see you.